Hey guys, how are you? It's episode 77, and as you can tell from the different surroundings, I am out and about today. And I want to do a quick little video here. Based on something that happened a couple hours ago, I was given a compliment on my cufflinks. Give you a better view there. And it's the second time that that has really happened. And the reason that it's interesting, and that I'm making a video after you know someone giving me a compliment only twice, is that these cufflinks are about $20. They're super, super cheap. I got them from Nordstrom's Rack. They are, they're nothing expensive, nothing fancy. And yet, there is kind of a case to be made for affordable cufflinks. And I had another pair that's currently, uh, it's on a mannequin someplace across town, actually. But same thing. It's a, a really great looking pair of cufflinks. 25 bucks. And I think as a guy, a lot of times we have this, this notion that, uh, one... French cuff uh, shirts are going to be very dressy and very expensive somehow. Not the case. It's just the way that your cuff is rolled back. Secondly, that cuff links are always going to be very expensive. And then that's why, you know, I shouldn't wear a French cuff shirt, for instance. But it couldn't be farther from the truth because you can have any kind of shirt fabric in a French cuff. And as I'm showing you today, cuff links do not have to be expensive at all. They can be very, very affordable. And they can still look very nice. Specifically, I think the thing that um, that people kind of go for on this is that it's almost a brushed stainless steel look, which is very cool, very masculine, and again, very affordable. So I wanted to throw that out there. Uh, when you're looking for cufflinks, uh, don't think that you have to get something very, very expensive. You'd be surprised, I think, at what other people are thinking just seeing you wear cufflinks. And, you know, a metallic look is very versatile and it's very cool, I think. On the other hand, you know, not to leave uh, the other end of the the uh, the spectrum out of it is that very expensive cufflinks can still be very very nice looking. And I have a pair that I gave to uh, my brother Brett as a wedding gift. And at some point, I'll try and show you guys that one when I ha when I have them or when I see Brett next. I'll I'll do a quick little video on it. Uh, very cool as well. Certainly far more expensive than the ones you see right here. Nevertheless, cufflinks. I think there's definitely a case to be made for having affordable cufflinks and not thinking that they're just inherently expensive because the truth is they aren't food for thought guys let me know what you think uh, that's episode 77 thanks for watching thank you for your attention and we'll see you next time